Why Do We Need Soil? by Kelly McCauley. Resources from Nature. People are living things. Some of the things we need to stay alive can be found in nature. Natural resources are the things found in nature that people use. What do you think? Plants, sunlight, air, and water are some of Earth's important natural resources. How do we use these natural resources? What is soil? Have you ever searched for buried treasure in your backyard? If you have, you were digging in soil. Soil is another important natural resource that all living things need. Soil is a layer of loose material. It covers most of the land on earth. It is found in forests, deserts, and fields. It is even found on the bottoms of oceans, rivers, and lakes. Living and non-living. There are living and non-living things in soil. Soil is made up of bits of rock mixed with water and air. In soil, there is also material from dead plants and animals. Billions of tiny living things called organisms live in soil. Organisms break down dead animals and plants. The dead plants and animals then become part of the soil. Give and take. Dead animals and plants add nutrients to soil. Nutrients keep living things healthy. Nutrients in soil are used by living plants and animals. Plants take in nutrients from the soil through their roots. Animals get nutrients from the soil by eating plants or eating other animals that eat plants. Animal droppings then add nutrients back to the soil making new soil. Soil forms very slowly. It can take hundreds of years for one inch of new soil to form. New soil is formed when rocks break down into tiny pieces. This can happen when rocks are hit by wind and rain. Did you know plants can also break rocks? Small plants grow in rock cracks. The plants break the rocks into pieces as they grow bigger. Types of soil. Where and how soil is formed can create different types. Sandy soil is a type of soil that holds little water. It is light brown. Few plants grow in sandy soil. Clay soil holds a lot of water. It is sticky. Strong trees can grow in clay soil. Loam soil is the best type of soil for growing plants. It holds just enough water. It has a lot of nutrients. Living in soil. Plants send their roots deep into the soil. Roots hold the plants in place. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil. Full-grown plants drop seeds in the soil. The seeds grow into new plants. Many animals and insects live in soil. If you dig in soil, you may find earthworms. Earthworms are important soil animals. They move nutrients through the soil. They also dig holes in the soil, which let in air and water. 
an important resource. People use different types of soil to make many useful things. Sandy soil can be used to make glass. Clay soil can be mixed with water to form bricks. And bricks are used to build people's homes. What do you think? People grow many plants for food in soil. Plants grown for food are called crops. Corn, wheat, and carrots are crops. Besides soil, what other natural resources do crops need to grow? Losing soil. Trees depend on soil to grow, but soil depends on trees too. Trees blocking the wind from blowing soil away. When trees are cut down, soil is lost. Without soil, plants and many animals would have nowhere to live. You can protect soil by saving trees. Every piece of paper you use is made from trees. Always recycle paper instead of throwing it out. To recycle is to take something old and make it into something new. What do you think? People need soil too. In what ways do people use soil? How would losing soil change the way people live? Reducing pollution. All living things need natural resources. Pollution damages natural resources. Pollution is garbage and chemicals on the land and in the air and water. Garbage and chemicals on the ground can leak into soil and damage it. By picking up garbage and recycling, we are reducing or cutting down the amount of pollution on earth. What do you think? Cars and trucks add pollution to the air. How can you and your family reduce air pollution? <laughs>